Hi everyone. When I was about 15, 16 years old, I had a chance to, to meet um, this Mexican tennis player. He got to be number 34 in the world and he lost in the final of the Olympics in, I think it was 84, 86 in LA. He lost to Stefan Edberg, a guy from Sweden that back, got to be number one in the world, Wimbledon champion. And, um, my, the guy that I, that I, he was actually my friend, the guy that I met, is, uh, his name was Francisco Maciel, Pancho they call him. And Pancho was a really good tennis player, he was Davis Cup player from Mexico and, and he, he was playing the international tour. So when, when he was in town, um, he will, he will, we, we will hit, he liked to, um, you know, he liked, uh, well I like to practice with him and he liked to, he said he liked hitting with me, you know, as practice and while he was going back to the tour. And uh, I remember asking him, I say one time, I say, Pancho, when you were, when you were growing up as a tennis player, I mean, what, what was it that, uh, what was it that, what do you think, what, what, what was in your mind when you were thinking, you know, that, that you wanted to be a professional tennis player and you knew that it was very difficult, you know, it's a, um, any sport, to become a professional is very difficult. Uh, tennis is it's it's uh, it's really really difficult not only to become a professional tennis player but to survive because uh, tennis players don't make nearly as much money as they do in other sports like basketball or baseball or fo American football. And I, and I ask I remember asking Pancho say I mean did you ever have a doubt that you were going to that you were going to make it? And he said you know. He told me that he, of course, he had that he had doubts that he he would probably wasn't gonna get as far as he wanted to. But he said, you know what? The truth is that I really I didn't didn't I really didn't think too much if I was gonna make it. He said I just I just kept putting the work every day and just just working working to improve even if just a little bit every day practicing. And waking up early, and 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 you know, working on the court, and working at the gym, and and and, and jogging, and, and doing just everything necessary that any tennis player has to do if you really want to become a successful player. And he he told me something that I I think is it's vital, and I think it's very important to remember. I think it's very true, and is that you don't have to worry about how things are going to happen. You don't have to worry about the how, and, and, and I will have to add, you don't have to worry about the when it's going to happen. It's, you got to, you put the work. I mean, I, 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 I remember being a kid and wanting to be a tennis player, a professional tennis player in Mexico. And I had to, and I was really worried how long it was going to take me to be able to go from playing juniors to the professional tour. And, and for a couple of years, I had to play qualifying rounds. And in my mind, it was driving me nuts because I say, oh, it's been six months, it's been one year, and, and, you know, it's been too long, and you're traveling and spending money, and you have all the expenses, and, and I mean, it's just, it's not easy. And I never, I never thought about it, but the moment that I, the, the, the moment that I just, I, I started working harder and not really, I mean, I, I didn't consciously try not to think about how it was going to happen. I just, I just felt with every, every day that I, I was working out, I just felt that I was getting closer and that any time it was going to happen until it, until it finally happened. But I think that's, that this is something that when you, whatever you want to do, whatever, you, you, whatever goal it is that you have, if you remove the, the, the questioning in your head of how you're going to make it and when it's going to happen, it really releases you from a lot of pressure. It really helps. It really makes things much, much easier. It's a lot of pressure off your back. And I think that it's important to think, okay, you know what? Just throw everything you got out there. Don't worry about the how and the when. Just put everything you got every single day. Try to do everything. It doesn't matter if you're just not going for... If you're not pr trying to be a professional athlete or if you're not trying to be probably the best painter in the world, you just want to improve. But I think that 
if 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 we work on even the little let's let's say that you're 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 in let's say that you're in the minor leagues of baseball and you say you know what I I I just want to be the best player in my team. I, I'm, I'm not even going for professional. I just want to be the best player in my team. I think that the important thing is to work professionally on everything we do as if you were going to be a professional athlete or a professional performer or any, on anything. And when I say professional, what I'm saying is don't compare yourself to those guys that you see on TV and you see in the newspapers and stuff. No, just try to do every single thing Everything you do, the, to the smallest detail, as well done, as professionally done, and that's that's that's. I, I think that just working on that, just that is yeah, that is enough to keep your mind busy. That is the, enough to keep you to put all your efforts out there, and that's enough to really. Um, that's a lot of work, and if you focus on that, believe me. That, that will take the time away to be thinking how it's going to happen and when it's going to happen. When we start focusing on the how and the when, it, it can really take a toll on, on, your, on your mentality. It can take a toll emotionally. It can take a toll on how you, you, your, your, your self-esteem, your, your, your self-perception, your de- determination, your greed on everything. It's just, it's just um, discouraging when things don't happen and when we pay too much attention to that. So... I would say, you know, just throw everything you got and just think that you got to focus more on your development, focus more on the person that you're becoming, on the habits that you're creating, instead of thinking, you know, this is the result and I'm going to focus on that. The result, when you put the effort out there, the, it, the result will take care of itself. And when you, you, and when you put the best of you out there, even if you don't get what you want, you're going to feel good with yourself because you're going, you're going to know that, that you have grown, that you have become a much better person. Okay? All right, guys. Um, thankfully, I'm, I'm getting everything ready to go see my mom. I'm leaving on Friday. But I'll keep you updated, and I'll see you tomorrow for sure. Thank you. Bye.